Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell put out this release Tuesday, explaining why he didn't push forward President Obama's Supreme Court nomination in 2016, but will push forward President Trump's nomination this year. The main difference, what McConnell calls a divided government. In 2016, Democrats held the White House and Republicans held the Senate. They were divided. This year, Republicans hold both the White House and the Senate. So why does this matter? Well, according to McConnell's release, almost every Supreme Court vacancy during an election year has been filled when the Senate and White House are the same party. First, let's break these numbers down. We checked with Senate records and Congressional Research Service reports. McConnell's numbers check out. Since the founding of the country, there have been 15 times where a Supreme Court seat opened up during an election year. Eight of them did happen when the president and Senate were of the same party, and seven of those were confirmed. McConnell adds the line that apart from one exception, quote, no Senate has failed to confirm a nominee in the circumstances that face the body now. This is true, but let's also look at the timing of these nominations. In six of them, the president submitted the nominee between January and July, more than 100 days before the election. In one instance, the seat didn't even open up till after the election. And this last example is actually pretty similar to what we're going through right now. In 1864, Justice Roger Taney died in October, less than 30 days before the election. Then President Abraham Lincoln decided to wait until after the election to nominate a justice. So it's true that there are multiple examples of a justice being confirmed during an election year when the Senate and White House were the same party. But President Trump would be the first president with his own party in the Senate to put forward a Supreme Court nominee less than 100 days before the election. For Dear Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.